What's up, you guys? It's your boy, Ben. <laughs> Brother Crouch, you got me. <laughs> oh, I'm not cutting this. Um, So here today, we're doing a warm-up video. And I know... Benjamin! You said we were going to do something, man. Like, what's going on? I know, I know. <sighs> we're going to get to the video, <laughs> okay? So we're, uh, we're doing a warm-up today. Because I've realized that no matter how many exercises I give y'all, if y'all not warmed up and y'all not feeling energized and you're not doing something on a regular basis, then you're not really going to get anything out of it and you're going to make yourself more susceptible to injury, which is ver which should be very obvious. Like, it actually, not really, but forget about that. We're going to get into the warm-up. It's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be decent movements. It's a dynamic stretching warm-up. It's going to start off with some marches. You know, we're going to get into it. So I'm going to start my timer, 30 seconds for each exercise, and we're going to add one bonus exercise for, huh, I'm crazy. All right, let's <laughs> like, no, nah, it's good, this is cool, it's cool. We're going to get into it, y'all. All right, so y'all can see me, hang on, I think I can, low key. How about that? I hope I didn't blind y'all just now, I'm sorry. All right, let's get into it. We're going to start with marches. We're marching. I messed up the time. Every time, man. Every time. All right, here we go. Marching in place. See, the thing about a warm-up is you just got to get used to getting to get to moving, man. Like sometimes it just it just takes a little bit of stepping. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're people that got a Fitbit and you're trying to get your steps in. Marching in place. A march is a step, my guy. <laughs> you may think it's cheating, but you're warming up, getting your heart rate up, getting your blood flowing. All right, we're going to switch it. We're going to speed things up a little bit. We're going to jog in place now. You don't have to make it any more intense than the marching for a fro. You're just lifting your legs and putting them back down. You can add some arm motion, or you cannot. You can just stand here. I mean, you can just, I say you can just stand here. You can just lift your legs up and down. But me personally, I like to go ahead and add my arms because, you know, running track makes it a pretty addictive thing to do. But, uh, whew. yeah, getting a nice little sweat in there. Make sure you guys have drinking some, wow. I really, I really, really don't like the cut of this. Uh, <laughs> all right, we're going to get into it. Next exercise, we got hip rotation. Hands on your hips. Hang on, let me give you a different angle. All right, bring it around town, all right? Yep, we're swinging those hips. All right, let's start the timer. Go, we're going 15 seconds one way, and then 15 seconds the other way, all right? <sighs> you know, I feel like if I hadn't watched Jack's Blade, I wouldn't have known this exercise. I would have probably figured it out eventually because I'm going into training for this kind of stuff, but like, yeah, all right, switch sides. My bad, I was distracting you. Uh, <laughs> but no, Jack Split is a very good fitness YouTuber. If you like anime, you'll like his channel, trust me. But uh, yeah, that is hip rotations. All right, now we're getting into the dynamic stretching portion, which is a little less intense, but does the same benefit. We're doing knee to chest, all right? So you're grabbing your, so, you grab, so you're gonna start on one leg, you bring that leg up, you're pulling it to your chest. If you can't get to your chest, that's fine. Just pull it to the point where you feel a decent stretch. And 30 seconds. We're going to do this alternating legs for 30 seconds. Set, go. Mm, mm, mm. Anybody that know me and been on the team with me, y'all know about these, man. Going up and down the track. When you think about it, this is kind of like doing the marches. It's getting a good, it's getting a good sweat in. You know what I'm saying? I know, I'm getting a little sweaty in here. This room probably is a mug, boy. Uh, all right, <laughs> we're going to toe touches. Toe touches are kind of you put one leg in front of the, you, you're literally stepping one leg out in front of the other because we're going to be alternating, and you're leaning towards your toe. If you can't, if you cannot touch your toe, it is fine to at least go down to your shin until you feel a good stretch, or if you feel a stretch at your knee. I mean, if you feel a stretch in your hamstring when you get to your knee, you can stop there, go back, alternate. Just do what's good for you. Don't try to push yourself too hard. It's just a warm-up. All right? 30 seconds in. Set. Go. Woo. Yeah. <sighs> it 
See, funny thing is, like I said before, the only the th the main thing that's motivating this channel now at this point is the thought that back in my day, I said my day, like I'm 45. Um, <laughs> back in the day when I when I first started working out, I didn't really have the common sense to know that the warm up was the most important part, even though we did it in gym. All right, that's 30 seconds. I'm gonna continue in a second. We're going to quad pulls. All right. So you're right here. You're gonna pick. You're gonna take your leg. It's like the it's like the knee to chest, but backwards. You're grabbing the you're grabbing the shin of that leg, not the foot, not the toes, but the shin of that leg, and you're slow. You can even lean a little bit, but you're pulling at that leg to get a stretch out of the quad. You might even get a little bit of stretch out of the hip flexor, depending on how you do it. We're going in for thirty seconds. Set, go. All right, here we go. <sighs> yeah, so. I just really didn't know how to do my own thing with this stuff. So I just wound up doing a bunch of workout videos randomly being like, okay, this is going to be a warm up for everything else when it was really a workout in its own. So it was kind of, <laughs> it was really counterproductive, but you know, that's what some people are just destined to become certain things, you know, hang on time. All right, that's 30 seconds. Oh, come on, timer. please cooperate. Uh, all right, quads. Uh, now we are at the hip stretch. Now this one is a little bit more difficult. If you want, you can make it like a knee pull and take your knee, take your knee from where you from from this side angle right here and pull it upward. For some people, that gives them a stretch. For me personally, I like to take my shin and put it on top of this and put it on top of the other leg that I'm balancing on and squat down just a little bit. Not all the way down. You're not trying to get perfect 90 degree angle on that bent leg. But you're just squatting down a little bit, coming back up and switching legs. All right, 30 seconds in, set, go. Woo. Yeah. So like I was saying before, some people are just destined to become different things. There's the guys that get the knowledge and they do at a young age and they get to do this and that. What's up? Can you like that? No. <laughs> step out for a second. I'm making a video. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No! <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right, time. Man, oh man. All right, we're at the groin stretch. We're going to get into it in a second. All right. Ooh. Get your get your feet at least, at least, hmm, at least a little bit past shoulder width, length, God, Benjamin. Uh, <laughs> and you're doing a, a, a slight, a slight, Lunge to the side, all right? Try to keep your try to keep your body up front. I mean try to keep your body aligned and just side and just side squat a little bit. You should feel that stretch in your groin. If you don't, then you can come on down with it a little bit and bring your uh your hand to your ankle. That's how I'm gonna be doing it for this one. So we're going side to side for 30 seconds. Set, go. So, like I said before, before I was really interrupted. We're going to uh, have people that were born with a lot of knowledge from their families, and they're going to get very far because they're going to be least like less likely to get injured. But then you're going to also have people like me who are going to get injured, and as they get older, they feel like they owe it to their community to try and get everybody else in shape while giving them information that they weren't given when they were younger or it didn't look for. I can pretty much say that I was probably going to be given the information at some point but didn't acknowledge it. All right, that's the end of that part. We're going to the hip flexor stretch. All right, I'll give you a little side profile real quick. Take, I'm take, I'm gonna take my right leg. Right, you're getting into a, it's, you're almost in a warrior pose, but not really. So you're gonna get bend that knee a little bit, and you're just gonna lean forward a little bit. All right, you're just gonna lean in. Like if you gotta bend that leg a little bit, just get back a little bit, almost to the point where your leg is straight. Well, not completely, but just still a little bit of bending that knee. And you're leaning forward. You should feel that in this hip flexor right here in the front. Whew. All right. We're going to do 30 seconds on each leg. So we're going to start with the right leg in front and the left leg in the back. All right. Hip flexor stretch. Set. Go. Whew. If you start to feel pain in your knee, that's all right. You can switch this out for something else. You can even do an exercise that wasn't hurting you earlier. As long as you're doing something, it's all about the warm-up. So yeah, that's kind of what the base of this channel is, man. I'm just 
somebody that probably had the knowledge at some point but didn't use it properly or didn't even acknowledge that it was there. So I run up the way I am. And now we're going to be doing this for a very long time. <laughs> Next leg, I mean switch legs. Set, go. Make sure you keep your back straight as well. That helps to keep your it helps with the uh with the extension. Two seconds left. And there we go. Alright, next. I know it's a long one, but y'all be alright. I'm going to take out the calf stretch, and I'm going to change it out with an Achilles stretch. Actually, hmm. now we'll go to the jumping jacks, all right? We're going to get back to, we're going to get back to, we're going to get a little more bouncy than we were before. I need to make, fan, why do you dis, the fan is dissing me, bro. It's like, no, let me stop. We're going to do some jumping jacks, 30 seconds, set, go. Good old school exercise. I think everybody does this in PE at least once in their life, maybe. If you can't jump, if you cannot jump, do not force yourself. You can step in, in, I mean, wow. <laughs> out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. You don't have to jump if you can't right now, all right? Just because DK Metcalf can do some jumping jacks while jumping doesn't mean that you have to be able to. All right? Peep that. Let me get out the light real quick before I blind y'all, bro. Jeez, the light dissing me. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if you're new. And in the comment section, let me know what other type of videos that y'all want other than the videos that I already have planned because this time we're going to get more done, okay? I'm trying to I'm trying to stay with y'all, but sometimes the ideas just fall dry and I try to keep it unique as possible and it just... I got to accept that not everything can be unique, but there can be certain aspects to it that people need to see anyway, because not everybody's going to be looking for, why am I saying this to y'all? It's like, nah, not everybody's going to be looking for the same thing, but they'll be looking for something in general. And if you know me or you know someone like me who's trying to do this with you, then you will definitely come here more likely than somewhere where they're telling you random information and you're like, it looks kind of sus, you know what I'm saying? So I'll see you guys in the next video.